Hey friends, today I'm gonna give you a look inside of another store where you can buy theme park memorabilia and props. Props from the Haunted Mansion, props from Splash Mountain, and even some nifty movie and TV show props. Anyways, let's go do this. Right here in Kissimmee, right off 192, is the Escape Hatch Escape Room. And like I said, they have some pretty iconic things in here. So I'm going to put all of the information where you can purchase things in the description below. I do think they ship some items. So that's always good for people that can't actually physically make it here. And just take a look at this room. And one thing I want to point out, how about the raven fur from the Walt Disney World Haunted Mansion? That is pretty awesome, isn't it? Another thing that I think is pretty amazing is this piece of carpet from the Great Movie Ride Lobby. That really caught my attention. Now, there is a whole lot to take in here, so I'm going to try to break it down piece by piece and just show you some of the cooler things and then also just like point out some of my personal favorites because there is so much happening. Amazing movie props, amazing pieces of Disney that I've never seen before. I don't know where to begin. I guess right out front. All of these autographs are all actually certified from either PSA or Beckett's, and that goes for all of the movie memorabilia or TV shows, because look at this one, Stranger Things. You gotta love Stranger Things and Ghostbusters. You remember when they dressed up? This was one of my favorite episodes. It's signed by the cast, and it's authenticated right there, $300. That is well worth it for any Stranger Things fan. Autographs and movie props are easy to authenticate, but for the Disney Park stuff, you kind of just got to know. You know what I mean? They don't come with certified, like, authenticity. Some of them do. Some of them don't because, you know, they're either something that was torn down or something that was reimagined and then you actually get those pieces and they frame it up and make it very pretty and I like the way they present things. I mean obviously the signs that you would see like that's a cool mile five sign for a run Disney those things are just you you know that that's what they are but things like uh oh this right here the piece of carpet from Disney's MGM Studios, the Brown Derby. That was just a uh, carpet that was ripped up and they actually saved some of it and put it in a nice little frame. And that makes me so happy because obviously Disney can't just like set up and sell this stuff. So most of the time it gets thrown away and I'm so grateful that people actually save it because I think it's treasure. <laughs> this Grand Floridian sign, that is absolutely awesome. Look at this picture of the Boardwalk Resort. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, I absolutely love it. I've noticed that there's no prices for any of the Disney memorabilia, so you'll probably have to call or check their Facebook to see how much things are. There are prices for some of the other memorabilia and autographs and stuff like that, so if I do see a price, I'll let you know. This is a really cool thing. A Pleasure Island actual poster. Oh man, that was some good stuff back in the day. Up in the corner here, you can see they have some uh, pictures from, that looks like Pop Century, yeah, the 90s. That is awesome. And then some classic Walt Disney pictures. I like those. I love myself a little Disney history. Oh, there's some blueprints, and it looks like Epcot attractions. I don't know what attraction that's for, though. We're going to bounce around a lot, like I said, because there is a lot to take in here. Take a look at this Pirates of the Caribbean cast member outfit. This was from Disneyland. That is so cool. <gasps> and then this right here. Holy moly. The universe of energy. Oh, wow. That is a cool cast member outfit from an attraction. It says Epcot Center at the bottom. Holy moly. That is awesome. And then on the other side, they have this wall. Look at this Top Gun. This is Tom Cruise's actual outfit from the movie Top Gun. That is crazy. That cost $5,500, but wow, that is something else. They also have some cool old Disney posters, and they're framed up really nice. And they're all about $285. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. 
some really awesome autographs. John Lee Hancock, John Voigt. Wow, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Carl Reiner. I really like this stuff. Randy Travis. All of these are, like I said, certified even with a number. And that's what makes me excited. Charlie Daniels, that was awesome. The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. A couple of other really cool stuff that you can see that are definitely from the parks are the actual in-park marketing stuff. That sign right there, I remember seeing on the walls when they had the construction for Hollywood Studios in the parking lot. That is so crazy that it's here now because I remember seeing that. They also have some pin trading where it doesn't cost anything. If you bring a pin in, you put one on, you take one off. And a couple more of those nifty posters, some run Disney medals. Oh, that's awesome because if you ever lose yours, you can actually buy one. Oh, and then look in here. Do you guys remember the American Idol experience at Hollywood Studios? That is awesome. This room itself is really cool because it has some antique pinball machines. Wow, these are super old. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. I like antique pinball machines. They're just kind of cool. They also have some pretty nifty sports memorabilia, signed basketballs. But look down here because this is something that I really think is interesting. These are matchbooks from the Contemporary Resort in 1970. I don't know why I think that is the most fascinating thing in this whole entire shelf. They even have glasses from Django Unchained. But I'm just about the contemporary. Now this right here is something super rare. My mom would love it because she is a big Elvis Presley fan. But take a look at this jumpsuit that was actually worn by Elvis himself. That is insane. How much do you think something like that cost? $25,000. Wow. That's a big piece of history though. And this is also kind of cool. People that love Splash Mountain, this is a leaf from the actual attraction. Put it together in a nice little frame. I like that. It's very cool. Ooh, and this is something really unique. You can only find this here, actually. This is a ride car reproduction of the Space Mountain ride vehicle in Disneyland. That is amazing. So detailed. And it's actually signed by Bob Gurr himself. This is really cool. And they actually have a couple of these that they're selling, but they said they're not selling these until October 1st. So you'll be able to buy these by then, but this is unique, very limited, and they're all gonna be signed by Bob Gurr. These are some really good pictures and little props. Look at this Katherine Hepburn one. It's actually a note. It says, Dear Sean, it will work itself out. Wow. Ooh, John Travolta signed Entertainment Weekly magazine. That's awesome. There's still, like, like I said, amazing things. Kind of little, little mind blown, actually. Clark Gregg. Wow. Agent Coulson. You know they keep the good stuff in the glass case. It's the same place everywhere. Everywhere keeps the good stuff in the glass case. A Percy Jackson Mandalorian mask. Ooh, a signed sports almanac. Ooh, that's awesome. It's signed by Christopher Lloyd, actually. A signed Jason mask. That's legit. Wow. So many amazing things. And even take a look at these awesome pieces from the D23 official fan club. I love it. Ooh, some first edition tiki mugs. Very nice. That is a signed Willy Wonka golden egg. Over here, we have a signed Nightmare Before Christmas picture from Danny Elfman. He's the one that wrote all the music. Caddyshack. That is cool. Wow. How much is that? $600. I think that's amazing. Caddyshack is a cult classic. I also appreciate the framing because I feel like the framing fits perfectly, doesn't it? Like, look at these Star Wars frames. This is a signed Bubba Fett picture. And take a look at the frame. That's like perfect. Or over here, wow, that's awesome. Signed Chewbacca. And actually, he passed away, so this is probably very rare right here. Up here, you can see some cool stuff. That's a Nat King Cole autograph. And then take a look at this Gatsby signed screenplay. $500 for that. That is awesome. Look at that frame. It fits perfectly. 
it would probably take me hours to just walk around and show you picture by picture prop after prop in here it is so massive i would just literally check to see what they have call and inquire because this place like i said it's huge they have so much the walls are literally just covered covered like hallway after hallway there's just so much so much they also sell all of these cool neon lights too i really like it very cool but i think that's gonna do it for me like i said some amazing stuff here guys and if you want any information about it i'll put all the information in the description of the video you can call them you can message them email them find out how much things cost if they ship just you know do your best and uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye